Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pixelmon! Woo! So, today, I wanted to get a little bit of things done that I would like to show you guys. First off, my Eevee, that I've so lovingly trained up, not much, uh, has a happiness of 222. So, what this means, we, you know, I, I don't want her to die, or him, sorry. I don't want him to die just yet, so we'll just go ahead and stop you. I might have made a mistake there, because I didn't think about the Eevees. Whoops. Uh, that's fine. Um, so that's not even going to be useful. Huh? Eevee's evolving? No. Go, Eevee! Evolve! It's time to join the ranks of the psychics! This is interesting music to do evolve to. Sure. Uh, Eevee evolved into Espeon. Woo! Now we got an Espeon! Just learned confusion! Let's get rid of Tail Whip because it's terrible. Terrible Tail Whip. Okay, so now we have Espeon! Woohoo! I don't really have a name for Espeon yet. If you guys have any ideas, uh, put them in the comment section below and we can, you know, go over from there. Assuming that I don't come up with- Whoa, jeez, Espeon, you're kind of fast. Jeez, come on, slow down. Slow down. Okay, whoops, I made you bleed. It's okay. <laughs> okay, well, um, interesting ambient music. We'll just keep going with that. Sure. So, Claire. Now, I want an Abra. And I want it today. Hopefully this time we won't uh, we won't fail this time. Yeah, we won't we won't fail. It'll be fine. All right, here we go. Teleport me up there. All right. Okay, let's uh let's just go ahead and yeah. I, I was trying to mess with the music in hopes that I could get things to work out better, but it's a little buggy. Okay, Abra. Where are you, you little rascal? Uh, that's... That is not the name I want to hear over here. Swinub? Okay. Abra. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wait around here for an Abra to show up. And when one shows up, I will go ahead and see you then. So, see you in a bit. Abra. Oh. I've spotted one. Go, Pokeball! What? Abra has a head of steel. <laughs> He'll make a fine addition to the team. All right, come on. Stay in the Pokeball, Abra. Abra. No, that's not staying in the Pokeball. Now, I could fight him and attempt to paralyze him in hopes that he won't teleport away, but that might not work. So I'm just going to go with all my Great Balls. If that doesn't work, then we'll go ahead with the paralyzed strategy. But, ah, there we go! We have Abra! Woo! Okay, PC. And as you can see, we have Abra. Okay, Butterfree, you just go ahead and stay back for a little bit. And now, summary. Ah, here is our Abra. Now, here's the name I always usually gave my Abras, is Z. Uh, this was from a Flash thing that I saw a long time ago. It was kind of a fighter game, or not fighter, fighter animation Flash thing on Newgrounds, which was interesting, but I like the name, Z. I also kind of like Z names, if you haven't been able to tell. But there we go! Now we have our Abra! So, our psychic team is coming along. I think at some point, I'm going to have to have uh, Charmeleon take a seat back. Because, you know, I can't I can't have Charmeleon in a full psychic team per se. But, you know, Blaze has been quite awesome. And he, he can, you know, sit back at home, take a look at after all the other Pokemons that we catch, and then, you know, things would be awesome. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do is go ahead and take a look at this berry spot. This is uh, something that, you know, I saw Huck doing, and I was kind of interested in what actually comes of this. Swadaloon. Well, that's that. Okay, so we probably want to switch to who's weak enough to actually not die from it. Well, Abra's no. 
Yeah. Tormeleon. Swaloon. Stop it. Tormeleon. Okay, there we go. Now we're in a fight. So let's go ahead and smoke screen it. I want to scratch it. Okay, so scratch won't kill it. How would an ember work? That will kill it. <laughs> Whoops. Right. So let's go ahead and take a look at my PC for other Pokemon we could use to capture things. Because unfortunately I'm running with a team of the big guys. And I'm going to leave these two inside the PC for now. I plan to train them up later so they can be, you know, a proper part of the team. Uh, let's go ahead and yank these two guys out. Uh, okay. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll open up with a Thunder Wave and then switch over. So let's see what else comes out. Wacha! It's a Metapod! I don't want a Metapod. I'm just gonna squish it. Yeah! Okay. Yeah! Meta meta Metapod? Met meta Metapod? Metapod? Yeah, no! Metapod! Well, fine, you get to live. Gosh darn Metapods! Okay. Now let's go ahead and set up and toss. Oh, a Kakuna immediately attacked me. Well, you're dead. That's what you get, Kakuna. All right, so that's a, another Metapod. Go away, Metapod. No one wants you. Unless they originally caught you. No, Metapod, go away. Hacha! There we go. All right, we got eight more berries. That's a bee drill. I do. I don't want a bee drill. No. Uh, there's another bee drill. Let's go ahead and murder it. So I can see that this is rather random, although it does seem like there's commons, and you you can only do the the quest to get these berries once a day. It's kind of it's <laughs> it's a butterfree. Go away. I think. Okay, there we go. Now that's a Pokemon I don't have, so let's go ahead and try and catch it. Swaddle, you are now paralyzed and defenseless against my onslaught. It's time that you learn your place and get uh, join our ranks among the trainers of the most. Uh, wow. I, uh, I mean, geez, I. <laughs> little thing just hit really hard <laughs> all right we'll just kind of tackle it a bit uh, I think it could take two more unless that happened okay so let's just let's just go ahead and throw a pokeball great ball go catch that swaddle now I really ought to well since I no longer have polywag I guess I don't have a way of putting things to sleep I'm gonna have to look into that and make sure that someone has hypnosis. Ah, there we go! Got a swaddle! I don't know what, you know, I'm never, I don't even know what a swaddle is. I just caught it. It's a thing. Okay, you die. We got two more berries. It's a kakuna. No! Okay, so you use a gun, and last berry is a Butterfree. Right. Well, we don't need you, Butterfree. So, there we go. That's that's the berry spot. I've heard that there is other things amongst this spot. Um, like, I've heard you could get a Scyther. I'm not entirely sure. It might be a thing. It might not be. But, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Camping other players. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. It's not nice to camp people and try to steal all of their berries. Now, I was out, you know, I, I, I was to get in the berries. I wasn't sure, and, you know, I, I was just interested and curious. Okay, just curious. <laughs> anyway, so I want to go ahead and see. There is a particular spot that's up this way. Uh, I wanted to investigate what goes on over there. I also heard that there might be mill tanks in that area. Ah, look at this. So we are in the Cadmium Ranch. That music. Ah, it brings back memories. 
Oh, what's this guy doing out here? Hey, Chuck. Hey there, kiddo. Want a tour of the ranch? Oh, yes, please. Well, too bad. I'm very busy right now. But I can tell you one thing. Careful, them, those mill tang. Sure, they look tame, but they aren't afraid to roll out all over your fragile little body. It's actually become quite a town sport. Dodge the rampaging mill tank. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, thank you. Ah. Okay, so it looks like she's got a quest up there. So let's go ahead and head on into this person's building without their permission. We'll just get... <laughs> Uh, hello, Chet. Melian. Uh, Melon. I <laughs> forgot how to pronounce it. Have you seen the beautiful ponies that roam around the fields? They have such majestic red manes that glimmer ever so bright in the sunlight. Nay, nay. What the heck is that noise? Oh, well, um, y it's okay, you copy. I found a baby, uh, a baby pony taw that seems to have been abandoned. She was all alone in the fields and a bit sickly. I'm trying my best to nurse her back to health while keeping a secret from the other ranch hands. They aren't fond of pony, uh, of a pony and can p could potentially set the entire ranch on fire. What? <laughs> What's wrong with her? Well, once Ponyta began growing into maturity, they learned to control the flame on their mane. This is not only for the riders' sake, but for them themselves as well. If they do not learn how to control their flames, the heat starts to cause gr a great sickness. It seems the poor little Ponyta has trouble in keeping her, her mane flames low. Oh no, what can we do to help her out? Well, we need someone who knows more about Ponytas to help us out. There's got to be something we can give this little darling to boost her self-confidence and willpower. See if you could find someone around town who has experience with blazing foil falls. Fowls. <laughs> okay, so we need to find somebody who is more well-versed with Ponytas. Now, who could be more well-known about Ponytas? I'm not actually too sure. Uh, do you know? Blanton? Uh, no, you're just a cranky old man. No, he doesn't know, but... Oh, actually, since I'm here, let's go ahead and get more berries. Bam. <laughs> huh. Knows more about Ponyta. Oh, wait, wait. I think there was somebody on the field who may know a bit more about Ponyta, I think. Oh, wait, no, she, maybe? Uh, no. She, she seems to know about the Pokemon fan club, but does not know about Ponyta's. Well, let's go ahead and pop on over to the Pokemon fan club and see if they happen to know anything. Well, I looked around all over the Pokemon Center, but I did not find a single Ponyta fan. Uh, maybe the quest line will give a hint. Melon's Ponyta, see if you can find so something about Ponyta. Uh, any other hint in the thing? Nope, just something about Ponyta. Well, uh, let's go ahead and ask some people around in here. Oh, look, it's Hugo with his Umbreon. Hugo! Cadium is famous for its e uh, economy being centered around Pokemon. However, most travelers don't realize that Cadium, uh, Cadium is home of the Pokemon League champion. I've come to pay my respects to his grave. Uh, what do you mean former? Uh, every single Pokemon League champion in history has been able to hold their title until they, uh, they passed away by natural causes. The former Pokemon League champion, however, was dethroned at a very young age, and since he lost his title, he is seen as a failure and a disgrace by all the people here in the Liffle region. Everyone, that is, except for the people in Cadmium. The people here like him? Like? 
They loved him, uh, and to this day still do. Uh, this was his hometown, and I'm sure the people here knew him better than anyone else. It's not about where he failed, but it's where he succeeded. True, I'm curious, though, who defeated him. You've been asking quite a bit of questions. Why don't you go pay your respects to the, his grave? It's out in the fields of Cadmium. If you follow the fork to the road to the Frigid Quarry, uh, you'll run into his memorial. Take, ta take care. I think I've stopped by there once. Uh, sir? Uh, I think I'm dying. Are you a doctor? Uh, nope. Sorry, bud. Why can't I ever find a doctor for humans around, or at least a hospital for that matter? I wish those pokey healers could fix me up. <coughs> Ooh. Well, yep. You don't. You don't want to get get messed up here. Uh, okay. Let's try up here. Do you know about rapid? Oh, here we go. This town was a breeze to get to uh, by riding through the fields. My Rapidash galloped through the plains with such ease. Those fields are actually used... <laughs> I'm breaking my voice all over the place. Used to be filled with dense assortment of trees, bushes, and other growths. Now it's just fields and fields as far as the eye can see. Do you know anything about ponytails? Well, yes, my Rapidash was originally a modest ponytail. For such yo a young ponytail, her mane was magnificently vibrant. I found a baby Ponita uh, who can't control her fiery mane. So she can't control her mane, hmm? That's a very serious problem that occurs within some Ponita. If she doesn't gain control of it soon, she may faint from the heat. I do know that some trainers have managed to boost Ponita's defense during battles. Perhaps there's a way, there's kind of battle item that can be synthesized for use outside of battle. In fact, was this strange old man talking about over in the Pokey Cafe? Crazy old man? Know his name? I didn't catch his name, but maybe the Pokey Cafe bartender did. He spent most of his time ordering up warm milk at the bar. Very, what a strange old man. Very strange. Okay, we have a lead. So we just need to go over and talk to the bartender and see if they happen to know anything. Woot, woot, woot. Jump, jump. Okay. Uh... That's the chef. Here's the bartender. Uh, Rene. Welcome to the Pokey Cafe. We got a large, heavy menu l for lunch and dinner. All of the food is grown right here and down. Or maybe you need to quench your thirst. Pull up a bar stool and order up. Uh, what was the cr uh, crot crotchety old man here? <laughs> Come to mention it, there sure was. The guy came in, propped himself down in the bar, and ordered ten glasses of warm milk. Not cold, warm. Who drinks? Who the heck drinks cold, warm milk? Not only did he chug all the warm milk, he kept complaining about the kids in town. He thinks they have a life. The, they have life so easy now. Jeez, stuck in the fifties. I know, right? Although after a few warm milks, he began to mumble to himself and about how he was going to put all the town's kids in their place. <coughs> I didn't catch it all, but the other patrons of the bar later informed me that some crazy new invention he was about to unveil in the region. Anyways, I believe his name was Blanton. <coughs> okay, so we, ha <laughs> we have a name. Oh, man. <coughs> uh, gotta be careful when doing these voices. <coughs> there we go, Blanton. <laughs> right. I heard you know something about ponytails. So what's been going around town, huh? Well, I've been working on a permanent battle item synthesis. Uh, what? Uh, you kids and your lack of knowledge. All right, kiddo. You know how you use battle items can only be used while your Pokemon's in battle? Well, my invention takes that battle item and synthesizes it with a more stable remedy. This creating a new blend. <coughs> this new blend has the stability of home re home remedies, while giving the effects of battle items. Um. All the signs. Uh, why would you? Why would an old old angry man need uh, need something like this? Excuse me, respect your elders. 
I'll have you know that I'm quite tired of all these young kids who have it so easy. Pokemon academics, Pokedexes, tons of types of Pokeballs, it's pitiful. So, I'm going to disperse some of my newly developed blends amongst the wild Pokemon outside, making them stronger. <laughs> That'll show those kids. Uh, okay. Tell Blanton about the ponytail. Hmm. I suppose I could always try and use a couple test runs of the synthesis method. Alright, I'll create a permanent battle item synthesis to help your ponytail out. You'll need two things, a battle item and some fresh milk. Now go, before I change my mind. Huh. So I need a battle item and fresh milk. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get the battle item in specific areas. Hmm. Fell's on fire. Here we go. Battle item and some milk. Uh, well, this is quite curious. I... Hmm. Battle item. Now, is that supposed to be, like, a berry or something? You know, like, you know, synthesized berries and whatnot? Nope. Can't talk to her. So, who do I talk to for some milk? Chuck? Do you have milk? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think he has milk. So, how am I supposed to get some milk? Oh, wait. I could just go to the bartender and order some milk. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Now, um, the battle item is going to be a curious one. Well, I'll go ahead and head over to the bartender, uh, see if I can order up some milk. We'll see how that goes. Renee, more milk, please. Got milk? Howdy, yes we do! We actually just got a fresh shipment of milk from the local ranch brought up to us by a couple young folks who just got to town. What were their names? Sachel and Afbell? Now that can't be it. What a lame names, right? Right? Anyways, we're flowing with milk. Sweet. One giant bucket of milk, please. Oh, okay. Well, people usually just order a cup of milk, but whatever. The customer is always right. Here you go. Don't spill it over my precious floor. I've obtained a bucket of milk. Woo! Milk. Uh, Darcy... No... Chef, no. Uh, where am I supposed to just get any old battle item? Uh, do you have a battle item? I mean, can I, can I purchase, purchase something from here? Are these battle items? Okay, well, let's just go ahead and maybe grab one of those. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Who knows? Oh wait, that's that's deposit. Whoops. Okay, uh, ten. Uh, let's go ahead and just get twenty, just to be sure. Uh, potion. Huh? Huh? No, it's not a battle item. Um, where do I get a battle item? I wonder. I mean, I would think you would ask the guy, the Pokemart guy, but that doesn't work, and he doesn't know anything about it. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> well, and maybe I'll, you know, listen to him later. But I'm kind of more curious where to find a battle item. Uh, what about these guys? Hey, Lance. This is gonna be an intense battle. I don't care. They're, they're more- Oh, here we go! Oh my, this is heated battle! Laura's shivery shiver ice and water Pokemon versus Bruno's vigorous fighting and rock Pokemon! They've been training for a week for this battle! I wonder who will win! Hopefully they've stocked up on battle items! This is gonna be a long one! Battle items? Yes, battle items! They've given to Pokemon during battle to enhance their stats! They're, they're, they are very rare! Luckily, Lance uses his dragon Pokemon to fly back and forth between Kenyum and his hometown! Where battle items are plentiful. Ah, really? Lance, so you know where, uh... Okay. This is gonna be an intense battle. However, my dragon-type Pokemon will wipe the floor with these chumps. Dragon Pokemon are hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior and unmatched. Enough dragon talk. Give me some battle items. Ah, uh, here you go. Uh, hope it gets put to good use. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. I got next defend. Woo! 
Well, that's interesting. I... I mean, I don't really need them, per se, because I kind of got my Pokemon well-trained. Uh, so... Oh, right, I need to go talk to Bruno. Or, not Bruno, but what... You know, what's his face? That dude. It's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the item uh, from you. Blanton. Excellent. Looks like you've gathered all the necessary items. Now I shall mix them together uh, to have the X defend with my own homemade remedy that Pokemon find very tasty. What's that? What's the milk for? Well, I'm thirsty, of course. Drinks milk. Oh, all right. Let's do this. Synthesizes. It'll take a few seconds. Speak with me again when you're ready to receive my creation. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, it's done. I've created your permanent battle item. Let me know if you're ready to receive this amazing creation. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Bam! Take care of, uh, take care of that. It's a one of a kind. Ah, synthesized item. Okay, well, um, it looks like we're gonna have to wait until the next time to actually get this item and help the Ponyta. But, uh, the, yeah, so I'm gonna have to call it here. So this has been Pixelmon. If you guys have enjoyed this, leave a like. It always helps out a lot and lets me know that you guys are interested. And also, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more things like this, leave us a sub and join the heroes and you'll get more content from us. Or, you know, notifications is what I mean. Notifications! YouTube notifications. Anyways, guys, this has been Session of Heroes and Fools, and I'll see you all next time. Take care and goodbye! Mm -hmm.